Hey guys, Delphine here. Um, today I'm doing a video uh, that someone sort of kind of requested. Uh, they were asking about how do you know which size of roach to feed your um, bearded dragon, specifically a baby. And they uh, knew about the uh, between the eyes rule, no bigger than the space between the eyes, but they really wanted to have um, a more visual aid. And so I'm just going to go through some of the different sizes of roaches you'll find. So my colony is pretty big, and so I'm just going to show you some of the different sizes here. Okay guys, so as you can see I've got my flash on so you guys can see these roaches better, even though they are very mad about that. Alright, so we'll start here. If I can get this guy. Alright, this here is about the smallest a baby will be. This is probably a newborn. As you can see, compared to my hand, he's really, really tiny. Even smaller than my nail here. Um, and this is even probably the size to feed a hatchling bearded dragon, just out of the egg. Um, this is pretty small even for a little baby bearded dragon of 5 to 6 inches. I'll put him back. Alright, let's see. We're going to find the next size here. Alright. This guy seems pretty good. If I can grab him. Alright. So, this is about the next size. Sorry about the fans. Um, this guy is considerably bigger than the last one, but he's still pretty small. Uh, this one's actually a little bit big, but he'd still probably go be good for about a five, six inch dragon. Alright. Let's see what else we've got here. If I move these, you guys will see a variety of different sizes here. These guys are absolutely crazy. Shaking them off. They'll thank me later. I saw one here that I wanted. Here we go. And he got away. This one right here is perfect. No, he fell. Come here, baby. Alright. If he could, like, hold on to my hand, that would be great. So I could show you. But he's just having some issues, so... Alright. Excuse me, this one is about the size of uh, a fingernail. A little bit smaller. Um, if I could get him to turn around. So this is about as big as you want to be feeding to a um, 5-6 inch dragon. Uh, when they start getting a little bit bigger, about 7, 8 inches, 8, 9 up in there, uh, you can start feeding them um, some that are a little bit bigger, like this one here. As you can see, this one is about the size of a finger, end of a finger. So, a lot larger than that one I showed you before. This is probably good up to uh, 10 inches of a dragon. Um, it's always best to try and feed a large amount of small prey compared to trying to feed uh, a few large prey items um, as it does ease the digestive uh, process to have a bunch of small things to digest as opposed to a bunch of large things. Um, so it's always best to play it safe and go with um, a smaller sized roach compared to trying to go with the largest one you can. All right. Uh, they continue to go up from size from there, um, getting around this size is about a pretty good sized baby roach, as you can see. Um, and then they continue to get bigger until you have an adult roach, like this size. That is a male. Or for a female, like that one. I don't really pick up the adults because they're very, very skittish. Um, but yeah, you can see there's all sorts of sizes in this roach colony. Uh, you can tell the adults from the very large babies uh, because the adult males obviously have wings. And the females got a uh, nice shimmer on their backs, like this one here. You can see very dark color, very shiny too. 
Um, as you can see, there's some dead roaches laying around. I have to clean this colony out, but um, there hasn't been too many deaths, so it's been very good. I have to put some more water in here. Um, so I hope that helped you to see sort of the sizes. Um, just to recap, here is one of the smallest babies you can find. Very, very tiny little guy. Compared to um, some of these larger babies. About this size. Uh, so yeah, I hope this helps. Um, I hope the flash helped you guys see these sizes a little bit better, even though up close it kind of blurred them. Uh, let me just help this baby flip over. So yeah, that's about um, sizes of roaches. If you have trouble uh, determining which size to feed your baby out of a colony, uh, you can always go and you can buy um, about 500 babies, maybe just 100 of these smallest sizes that are be that'll be good for uh, a baby. Uh, to about up to eight inches, I'd say. Little tiny ones will be good, and then you're going to want to start moving up to uh, babies with a little extra meat on them. Um, but yeah, so if you ever are in doubt, feel free to order uh, just a handful of babies just to kind of be able to see what a small roach looks like and to have some already picked out and okayed by someone else who has a little bit more experience, um, obviously because they're selling their roaches. And then you can move up to having a colony like this one where you're going to have roaches of all different sizes and walks of life um, just hanging out here. And then if you really have a ton of different uh, bearded dragons of different uh, ages and sizes, you can always go and sort your uh, roaches out by their size. Uh, it's very easy to sort them. All you need to do is take out all of these places to hide, all these egg cartons, tubes, that sort of stuff. Um, and just get a smaller container and drill some holes in it. Uh, drill the holes the size of the things you want to um, filter out. Like if you want really, really tiny babies, drill really, really tiny holes. Or if you want babies up to a good size, then drill holes up to those sizes. And then you'll just scoop out all the roaches that are too big, and it'll leave you all of the roaches that are the right size. And then you can just transplant the two big roaches into a new roach bin. Um, I personally am going to be doing that soon. I'm going to be moving all of my adult roaches into one bin and keeping my babies in this one. Uh, I didn't want to tell you guys yet, but because we are going to be getting another bearded dragon very, very soon, uh, it's going to be a really, really cool dragon. We're super excited about this one. Um, so, yeah, surprise. Uh, we're getting another bearded dragon, and it's going to be super, super cool. I guess I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit more. Uh, he is coming from a pairing of a purple paradox dragon, and... Um, kind of an oddball uh, genetics dragon um, coming from fairly colorful parents and then kind of coming out, I guess you can say, like a gray leucistic dragon. Um, not very much color. Uh, so it's my little brother's dragon and he was looking for something that was very blue, very purpley, kind of like the bars on Freddy. And this is about uh, the best pairing we could ever hope to find w between a purple paradox who's extremely, extremely blue and then uh, kind of a grayish sleek blue dragon. So we're really looking forward to that, and I hope you enjoyed this video to show you uh, some different roach sizes. Please like and subscribe to see more videos.